Okay, in this video we're going to look at factorization, and that's basic factorization. So, uh, factorization is the opposite of expanding brackets. So, whenever you've got an expression, uh, for instance, something like this, uh, 3 bracket x plus 5, you could probably expand this. So, you do 3 times x, which is 3x, and 3 times 5, which is 15, and you put your plus sign in the middle. So, that's expanding brackets. Factorization is going from your uh, expanded expression back to having uh, brackets in your expression. So, it's putting the brackets back in. So, and think of the words factorization, factor, factor is something that divides into something. Factorization. So you're just looking at um, what common factors they have. So if I had 15x plus 20, they're both divisible by 5. So that's the common factor. So you do 5 bracket. 15x divided by 5, well that's 3x. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. So whenever you factorize this, you would get 5 bracket 3x plus 4. Okay, next one. 4x plus 12. So these are both divisible by 2, but the largest factor, the common factor they've got, it would be 4. Okay, The largest number you could divide both of them by is 4. Always try to uh, divide the, by the largest number. Okay, So go for the largest possible number. So 4 bracket, 4x divided by 4, well that's just x, and 12 divided by 4, well that's 3. So the answer would be 4 bracket x plus 3. Okay, So you just go for the largest um, factor for both of them. Okay, uh, let's have a look at the next one. Uh, 8x plus 16. Well, again, you could say this, these are divisible by 2 and by 4, but 8's the largest factor. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for 8, bracket. 8x divided by 8, well, that's x. And 16 divided by 8, that's 2. So the answer would be 8, bracket, x plus 2. And finally, 5x plus 7. Uh, well, 5 and 7, um, the only common factor, I suppose, they would have to be 1. But there's no point taking one outside of the brackets. It doesn't really help um, simplify the expression. So 5x plus 7, uh, you can't factorize that. So that's just 5x plus 7. Okay, let's look at something else. Then. Okay, so if you've got an expression like this, x squared plus 5x, uh, the common factor for both of these would be x, okay? They're both divisible by x. So you would take x outside of the brackets. Uh, x squared divided by x, well that's x. Remember from expanding, x times x is x squared. So whenever you do x squared divided by x, you would get x. And also 5x divided by x, well that would be 5. So the answer is x bracket x plus 5. Let's check and see why that's right. x times x is x squared, and x times 5 is 5x. So that's it. Uh, let's have a look at another one. Um, 4a squared minus uh, 6x. A. Now this one, um, you can actually, uh, it's got two um, things that you can divide them both by. Uh, first of all, the 4 and the 6, well you can divide it by 2, but also you've got A squared and A. So you can divide them, uh, divide them both by A as well. So a 2A is going to go outside of the brackets. So you can divide both of them by 2A. 4A squared divided by 2A, well 4 divided by 2 is 2, and A squared divided by A, well that's A. Let's just check that. 2a times 2a would be 4a squared. Fantastic. There's a minus sign. And then 6a divided by 2a. Well, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And a divided by a, well, that would just, that's 1. So your answer is 2a bracket 2a minus 3. Let's just check and see why that's the case. 2a times 2a is 4a squared. And 2a times 3 is 6a. Let's have a look at another one. 15x squared minus 20 x. We can divide both of them by 5, so you put 5 outside of the brackets, and you could, you could take an x outside of the brackets as well. Okay, that's not a very good bracket, let's do it again. Okay, so you can divide both of them by 5, so you do 5 outside of the brackets, and you can divide both of them by x, so you do x outside of the brackets. Uh, 15 divided by 5 is 3, and x squared divided by x is x. 20 divided by 5 is 4, and x divided by x is 1, so it's just 4, and you've got a minus sign. So your answer would be 5x bracket 3x minus 4. Okay, and finally, if you had an expression such as ac plus af, we could divide both of these by a, so you take a outside of the brackets, and then you're going to be left with c plus f.